Let's get going, everybody. I hope that you have a great day. My name is Menche A. Tute. In this video, I am going to do a tutorial on the basic functions, simple math for basic formulas, and if function in Excel 2013. I'm super excited to teach you this, guys. So, let's not waste any time. Here we go. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program for Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS that was created by Microsoft. It includes calculation and computation tools, graphic tools, and visual basic for applications and macro programming language. In this video, you will encounter the terms ribbon, cell, column, border, and row that were used in the field of ICT, specifically in software applications like Excel. Cell is a rectangular area formed by the intersection of a column and row. Row runs horizontally in the grid layout of the worksheet and is identified by a number. Column is a vertical series of cells in a spreadsheet and is identified by a letter. Border is a line around a cell or a block of cells in Excel. Ribbon is the name given to the row of tabs and buttons you see at the top of Excel. The version of Excel that I am going to use in this tutorial is Excel 2013 which is part of the Microsoft Office 2013 SP1. The first thing that you're going to do is to open Excel, wait for it to load, then click blank workbook. So yeah, this is a blank workbook, so basically there is no data written, so we will start writing something for our examples. We are going to put a list of names, the assigned number of students, and their scores for example. I will add borders first. Alright, so let's start with the assigned numbers for the students. So for example, we only have 10 students, so we will write numbers 1 to 10 under column header A. Now, to avoid consuming too much time typing the numbers, I will teach you how to automate row numbers. Okay, so I will write number 1 here, then 2. After that, highlight the two cells. Place your cursor at the bottom right corner of the cell. You can see a plus sign. Drag that one until the tenth cell. So that's it. So simple. This time, let's move to the names of the students. Our goal is to arrange their names chronologically. Okay, for example, these names. Um, Swift Keith. Bibertine. Andres Pia, Tuting G, Bonifacio May, Bernardo Claire, Barreto Ariel. Apo Miguel, mm, Torres May, and lastly, Carlos Jan. Alright, so the names are ready. The next thing that you're going to do is to adjust this one. Next is click the column header B. Go to the sort and filter in the ribbon section, click that one, select sort A to Z, the sort warning will appear, click the second option which is to continue the current selection so that the numbering will not be affected or will not be altered together with the names, alright? Next basic function that I'm going to teach you is to insert a row for the labels. First, click the row number 1, right click, and then select insert. Then we will add borders on these cells. So we will now put labels in our data. Let's write here number, name, example subject science, English, math, Filipino, then the total, and average. Take note that these scores are just examples for you to know how to use a formula and how to solve simple math for basic formulas in Excel. So basically addition, division, 
subtraction and multiplication okay so this time let's put example grades of the students here in these cells i've prepared example grades we will just copy this for a while okay Here we go. So, let's identify its total first. We will use the formula of addition. That will be equals, then click auto sum in the ribbon section, then click enter. That's it. Now, to add the remaining grades of the students, click the G2 cell. This one. Then drag the plus sign at the bottom right corner of the cell until the last cell where the last student's name was written. Alright, there you go. The total grade for each student will automatically appear. Next, let's proceed to the average. So basically, getting the average will fall under the division formula. So in here, we will use the formula of division that will be equals average. Open parenthesis. Click the C2 cell, then drag it until the F2 cell, which is the last grade of the student. Click enter, then the result will come out. Next is to click the cell of the first average result, then go to the bottom right corner of the cell, then drag it until the 10th student. All done! Next, I will teach you the formula of subtraction, but before that, we will change the alignments. Okay, so for the formula of subtraction, let's make another example data. So, for example, we will write here um, number, um, then E1, which stands for exam 1, E2, let's drag it until the fifth cell. Okay, let's write here total items. Mm, total scores and then number of the six okay then let's adjust this equally mm -hmm. then let's adjust it again okay then let's put it at the center then put another borders all right so for example we will write here 500 then 200 100 um 80 then 150 for example and also we will write here example total scores mm. Okay. All right. So, for example, we I will subtract these numbers to the total items to identify the number of mistakes the students have during the exam. Now, the formula for subtraction is this one. Equals open parenthesis. Click the cell of the total items. Minus sign, then click the C15 cell, close parenthesis, and then enter. So the total number of mistakes in exam 1 is 13. Again, go to the bottom right corner of the cell. Drag the plus sign until the last exam. Here you go. Alright, so that's for the subtraction. This time for the multiplication. Let's have a separate example data for this. So for example, let's write here 1980. 1970 and then um, 1678 
and 50. Then let's apply borders. Alright, so for example, we will multiply these numbers. So the formula is equals. Click the cell of 1980. Next is the asterisk, which is a sign for multiplication. Okay, so then click the cell of 20 and then click enter. Again, go to the bottom right corner of the cell and then drag the plus sign. That's it. That's for the multiplication. Next, let's cover the if function. Let's go back to our first example data. We will put here remarks as our label. Our goal in using the if function is to identify whether the student is passed or failed. So, to do that, let's type here equals, then if, open parenthesis, h2 is... Um, greater than or equal to 85 because the passing rate is 85 comma passed with quotation marks then failed with quotation marks close parenthesis enter again go to the bottom right corner of the cell drag the plus sign until the last cell all right. As you can see, only one is failed. That is because 72.75 is less than 85. And um, these grades, okay, these grades are above or equal to 85. That's why they are passed. And again, these are just examples, okay? So, using these formulas will help you avoid errors in solving and assigning grades or scores to the students or in any purpose that you wish to obtain using Excel. Alright, there you have it. That's how you use and do the basic functions, simple math for basic formulas, and if function in Excel. I hope that you guys will find this video useful. I want to wish you a beautiful and fruitful day. Thank you so much for watching and keep safe everyone.